Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. Nice day today. Um, CDI systems, hacking ignition systems, all that kind of stuff. Probably some of my regular subscribers are completely sick or regular watchers are completely sick of watching these videos. But the problem you run into if you're one of the folks who are attempting to hack your CDI, you might have bought um, a different a different CDI than you or you might have gotten a different CDI than you bought. I already went through the uh, Casoli and how to hook it up and so forth. And one of my subscribers contacted me and said they ended up with the best tech um, CD, CDI box. Um, by the way, the gold or yellow boxes appear to be DC boxes. Blue box, not DC. Red box, not DC. So that's that's one of the first things you got to put in your heads as you're buying these things or looking at these things. Your standard DC plug looks like this. And the video I put up shows a, um, well, this could be DC or AC. Depends how wide it is, but... Typically, the, the plugs on all-terrain vehicles, they look like this, or they're the square plug. The Best Tech box, and I bought this as a GY6 box, came with a different plug, a little, a little bit different. So a buddy of mine, once again, ended up with one of these Best Tech boxes, and he hooked it up. And he couldn't figure out quite what was wrong, why he wasn't getting Spark. So I wanted to take a few minutes and hook up my best tech box to show him. And for anybody else that will help, um, you, you know, hopefully it will work for you. First of all, what goes out to your Spark coil, there's a yellow wire coming from your best tech box. And... That quite honestly, there are two green wires. Just run the yellow and one of the green wires to your coil. The second green wire from your box has to go to a bunch of different places. It's got to go to body ground, and you can see I got it doing that. I got it going to the wire harness as the other half of the trigger wire, and the blue wire is your your um, from your pulse to the trigger so once again I did another splice and I ran it out so that you have a pair of wires going to a pulser I have a wire um, and this is basically DC ground which goes over to the um, the the coil side of my starter solenoid so you had to have to have one side of that and I think that's and by the way this that goes to body ground is also picking up 12 volt um, negative so here's my 12 volt positive and it goes into your red wire and I really rather not short this to ground so I'm trying to oops and it fell off, of course. Give me 30 seconds here, or 10 seconds to get that back on. Yeah, whenever you set up the video camera and try to make a video, that's when everything kind of messes up on you. Right. That's, um, I think it's one of Murphy's rules. Anyway, I'm going to hook up the power while I'm here also. Oops. Let me hook up the power also while I'm here. And... So, at this point, I got the CDI box powered up, and I have the circuit to engage the starter powered up. And when I just tickle the starter a little bit, and one shouldn't leave the wire tickling the starter, that's not good for it.
So you guys can see it runs, runs pretty well. Everything is happy. So anyway, I, ho I, hope, I hope this helps because some folks are going to end up with the um, best tech ignition system. And uh, I just I just wanted to to hook it up so that that you guys could see it. And once again, for your spark coil, you gotta gotta make your CDI happy. How do you make it happy? Yellow wire goes to the high side of your spark coil, ground on the low side. Um, you gotta always have ground to body, and you're also gonna need your ground is where you put your negative side of the battery. Um, you also need ground. Once again, they ran two wires out of here for the uh, for the pulser. So I ran a ground wire back in, and then you need the uh, the blue wire goes to your pulse generator. Obviously, red goes to plus 12 DC, and obviously your grounds go into body ground. Um, hook up your spark plug wire, and it should be ready to go. Typically, they sell the best tech or the Casoli. Um, they they typically sell these with the coil between fifteen and twenty bucks if if that's what you want to use. These are supposedly a um, a higher performance model um, system. I haven't blown any of them up. Um, my buddy. Um, William Statton has had uh, a few failures on these. I haven't had one fail, but I also have to say I really haven't put one through the paces, right? I I haven't hooked one up and, you know, drove it around my yard for 12 hours straight or, or done anything uh, interesting to them. Um, normally when I buy them, I really like to get, like in this case, I I, I bought the unit. And it came with the matching coil. All this went together. Right? So, um, I normally like to do that. But um, my experience with stuff coming from China, you don't necessarily get what you think you're going to get. Uh, especially when you buy stuff on eBay. Uh, example, this was supposed to be a... Um, 12 volt CDI unit came with its matching coil and uh, right next to it is really a 12 volt and you see how you don't have the extra width here so even though they said what it was and y you know they didn't send me the right thing um, I'm not exactly sure what they did wrong it was it was in a box and the box was um, damaged it looked like you know the tape was torn so it looked like it was opened so i i don't know if somebody you, you know had the wrong one in the wrong box or the box was in the wrong location i got in touch with them and they refunded my money and didn't make me send it back um if they were going to make me send it back i was going to say yo you all are paying for the postage and I think folks from uh, China somehow managed to mail stuff to this country for virtually free. But I know if I get to mail something back to China, it won't it won't be free at all. So um, I guess I'm going to call this video um, "Best Tech," you know, use wiring a Best Tech CDI unit for a. Um, um, China quad. I I obviously this is a 70 cc China quad. It's my test bed. It's the thing I kind of use for all my experiments. It's just easy sitting right here. It's up at the right level. I just put a thing over it to keep water from getting into it. Um, and it's handy. Every everything I want to do seems to work out on it. So um, I went with the minimum hookup here. As soon as you put. 12 volts here the way this is hooked up this thing is ready to fire you turn the engine over and it's running um, which is good the only thing when that could be bad for you is for some reason if your throttle sticks or whatever uh, this is an automatic and uh, 
you know, as long as you got 12 volts there, it's going to be sparking. Your throttle's stuck, so you're going to have carburation, and you got an automatic, so you can't even pop it out of gear or something. Um, right? You, uh, you basically want to look for a soft spot to fall off the back, and you want to kind of aim it so it ends up in the in the buckwheat and not um, not out in the street as you uh, say goodbye to it, right? Um, somebody my size, by the way, if you crash this, your your center of of mass, your the center of your weight is up pretty high. So as you crash this, um, you're probably going to break this here, go right over the handlebars, and put your face into whatever you just ran into. So um, this hack is nice, but beware that uh, you, you know it could. It could be uh, it could be the hack that gets you, so do pay attention. You know, use at your own um, your own risk. Anyway, folks, I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your heads up, and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.